Hello everybody and welcome along to Forex Farm. I'm your friendly neighborhood trader. Today we're going to dive into the wild and wacky world of prop fund trading, but not just one, not two, multiple prop firms. It's like juggling, but with money, what could possibly go wrong? Before we jump into the cast, so if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button, smash the like bell, you know, all that kind of stuff. It helps, it really does. It would be appreciated. Now, some people say managing prop funds is a bit like herding cats. Really, really difficult, especially if you're managing multiple ones. Today, I'm going to spill the beans on how I do it. I turn a barely profitable system into a money-making machine effectively just by having a bit of discipline. Let's do this. So we've all been there. We've all been looking for the holy grail of trading strategies. We want that magic bullet strategy that will win every trade that we ever take. We'll never lose any and we'll make loads of money. And if we do lose a trade, we think this system's rubbish and we move on to the next one. We've all been there. That's probably why you're watching this video. I've done it myself. I get it. I've got a plot twist for you this time though. We're going to change things up slightly. We're moving from that mindset to this mindset now where we only have to win slightly more than we lose and we're profitable. It's the financial version of maybe aiming for an A minus rather than an A plus. Right, think of your trading career like running a business. I run a business, okay, and before I take any money out of the business, I have to pay contractors, staff, pay for the lights, I have to pay loads of money in advertising, loads of stuff I have to pay out before I can even take any money. Trading is like a business and we need to get into the mindset where we think, right, I'm not here just to win every single trade. There's a cost to my trading. And that is the trades we lose. That's the cost of doing business. Once you've thought that, you're winning. Now I've got a strategy, let's call it the uh, multitasking maestro move. I manage multiple accounts. I win 60% of the trades that I take. One to one risk to reward ratio as well. Not even a two to one or a three to one, a one to one and I win 60%. Money rain, boom. Now you might have had a funded account in the past. So you might be going, well, why is this any different to what I've done in the past? Why is this different? because it's all about mindset. If you're rocking a single funded account, it's like walking on financial eggshells. You're always scared that you're gonna blow that account. You try and protect it maybe too much, but when you've got multiple accounts, you've got that financial safety net, okay? So you're thinking, well, I don't wanna blow an account, but if I do, I've got other accounts. It's fine, it's not the end of the world. So here's where we move on to the actual strategy of what I do. Step one, you can snag now a $50 funded account for as little as $45 dollars if you shop around they're very cheap i mean it's amazing 45 dollars for a 50k account is where the magic happens on monday you grab yourself an evaluation account and you trade it tuesday grab yourself another one and start trading that wednesday grab yourself a third and thursday grab yourself a fourth and start trading that one four accounts four trading days but there's more get yourself a trade copier it's like the ultimate sidekick so when you make a move on one it synchronizes to all the others and here's the genius move by starting each account on a different day you're creating a financial symphony of diversity. Or in other words, you're unlikely to blow multiple accounts in one day because you'll have different profit levels and different drawdown levels because you started trading on a different day. So you started trading on Monday on one account, but you didn't start until Tuesday on the second, Wednesday on the third. So in theory, it limits the chance of all accounts getting blown in one day. And while you're trying to get these four accounts, if you don't pass an evaluation, then buy another evaluation accounts just keep doing it until you've got four you've obviously got to have the strategy that will enable you to be able to pass a funded account but you know typically if you've got a, a strategy that's doing about 60 percent win rate you should fairly easily pass these now once you've aced the evaluation stage on all four accounts and prop firms these days do make it fairly easy one step typically it's then time for the grand finale buy another account for every evaluation Account that you've already passed. So if you've passed one and you've got a funded, buy an evaluation account for that one as a backup. When you pass the second one, buy another evaluation as a backup, so on and so forth, until at the end you'd have four funded accounts and four backup funded accounts. So in the end, you've got eight accounts in total, four live ones that you're trading, and then four backup accounts. Let's crunch some numbers. So let's say worst case scenario, to get your four funded accounts, you bought eight accounts. You, you lost four of them, failed four, and you passed four. So that's $360. Then another four evaluations afterwards as backups, that's another $360. So that's a $720 initial outlay. Might be less, that's in my opinion, worst case scenario. My 60% 
strategy probably wouldn't take that many attempts. I'd probably pass the first time. It might take a couple of attempts on, or maybe one or two. But don't forget, you don't have to start out having four accounts. You could start out with one or two. And then as you start making money from this, you could reinvest it by more accounts and upscaling your operation. So my simple strategy involves trading the E-mini SMP. I take one trade a day. It typically is completed within an hour. It doesn't take long. I aim for a 10 handle take profit and a 10 handle stop loss. If I lose for the day, I stop. If I win for the day, I stop. I take one trade a day. That is it. That's the discipline. And I don't chase losses. I make $600 for every trade that I win per account, and I lose $600 for every trade that I lose per account. So I can afford a run of four losses before an account is blown. And over the last two months, I've had a 60% win rate on this. And I think I might have blown one account in two months, which is pretty good going. So every month on average, I currently make around $2,400 per account. So that's $9,600 on average made per month across the four accounts doing one trade and my strategy is not the magic bullet it's a very simple strategy i'll talk about it if i get enough likes and shares and views on this video any old strategy that's barely profitable marginally profitable will work with this system so if we blow an account what do we do well we've blown an account we'll just use one of our backup accounts and start trading with that backup account from the next trading day so we're always trading with four live accounts and then we just buy another evaluation and do the same thing again and that's what happens you just keep doing that you just make sure that you've always got four live accounts and you've got four backup accounts and you just keep buying evaluations to make sure that you carry on having four live and four backup and that's the strategy in its essence and it works really really well make sure that you take withdrawals as many as you're allowed if you can take two withdrawals a month if you're in profit take two withdrawals a month make sure you're paying yourself and that's literally what i do it's also worth saying that this is scalable. The prop firm that I use is allows up to 20 accounts. So I could have 10 live accounts and 10 backup accounts. And if I was averaging what I'm averaging at the minute, that would be around $24,000 a month. 60% win rate. Do you really need the 80%, 90% win rate? This is a 60% win rate, one-to-one -one trade. It's as simple as that. If you've enjoyed this video, like, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And I'll be back telling you about the strategy maybe on the next video. But believe me, it's not about the strategy. It's just about the discipline. Take care. See you next time.